Good morning, my name is Joe Hernandez and I'm the Sports Information Director at Ball State University. I'd like to welcome all the members of the media and all the members of the Muncie community that are here. I'd like to introduce our president, Dr. John Worthen. Thank you very much, Joe, and welcome to all of you. This is a very special day at Ball State University. As uh, all of you know, for the past two and a half weeks, we have been working very hard to talk with people about the head coaching position of our men's basketball program. We have talked with dozens of people, perhaps hundreds of people. This is a search that has been uh, very careful and very thorough, although uh, we, have, uh, we have moved forward uh, quickly. Much of the work has been done um, outside of the normal working hours in the evenings and on weekends. And uh, we're very excited about the announcement that we want to make today. As you also know, because of the uh, special timing, uh, we had a decision to make whether or not uh, we should appoint an interim coach as head coach and then open up the search in uh, April of uh, 1994 and um, then search again, or whether or not we should at this time appoint a uh, permanent head coach. Um, we didn't make that decision until uh, very recently, but we have made that decision now, and we have decided to appoint a permanent head coach. And we will turn to that in just a moment, but I want to, before uh, I introduce uh, the Director of Men's Athletics, tell you uh, just uh, uh, a bit about the criteria that we used as we were uh, talking with these uh, hundreds of people, uh, not only the candidates themselves, but uh, lots of people who uh, know the candidates very well from around the nation. We were looking, uh, first of all, for a coach with solid Division I experience. We were looking for a person who could could bring uh, that experience to Ball State University and um, continue our co competitiveness as a leader in the MAC conference. We were also looking for a person who would uh, bring an emphasis to the student athlete, a person who would uh, continue our emphasis in keeping athletics and academics in balance. Third, we were looking for a person who could work effectively with students and staff and faculty and administration within the university and with uh, the supporters of our athletic program in the broader community. We were looking for a person who could handle the public relations uh, effectively. And finally, we were looking for a person who would be committed from the very beginning to running a clean, honest, ethical program, a program that would uh, work within the Mid-America Conference and NCAA guidelines and rules. And um, I am uh, very proud to tell you that we have found the perfect person that fits all of those criteria. And I'm delighted now to introduce to you Don Purvis, the Director of Men's Athletics, who will uh, tell you more about this person. Thank you, President Worthen. It's difficult indeed to tell more about someone like Ray McCallum in Muncie, Indiana than what is already known. As your release states, uh, Ray was clearly a great player at Ball State, the all-time leading scorer. But he's not here today because he was a great player. He doesn't have any eligibility remaining or we'd get him out there. <laughs> he is here because he's an accomplished professional who has paid his dues at two Big Ten universities as an assistant coach under three head coaches. Most of that you know. For those of you who don't, it's in the release. The one item I have that you do not, it came in on my fax machine from Steve Fisher, the head coach at the University of Michigan. I'll read it for you in a moment. I met with Steve 
for about three hours regarding Ray as a candidate. He was very supportive. The obvious question was, is he ready? Steve was adamant that Ray was, in fact, ready and that he had every confidence that he would be an outstanding coach at Ball State. With that said, here's Steve's facts of this morning. We're delighted for Ray and his family. He is someone I've known since I first started coaching in the college ranks. You may not realize that Steve was assistant coach at Western Michigan when Ray was playing at Ball State. Ray played at Ball State when I first started at Western Michigan. You could tell even back then he knew the game and how to play it, and he was in fact someone special. I'm positive he's going to do an exceptional job at Ball State University. In the short time he spent with us at Michigan, he has exhibited all the abilities to be an outstanding head coach. Ray is extremely knowledgeable of the game and he can spot talent in recruiting. He's also very personable and beyond that is a first class individual. Ball State is fortunate indeed to have a person of Ray's caliber. And that came in within the last hour. I think it's indicative of not just what Coach Fisher's evaluation of Ray McCallum is, but it is an actual summary of the years he spent in Muncie and how each of us here came to know him as a person, perhaps each in a different way, but all of us arriving at the same conclusion. With that said, it's time for the star of the show. And would you welcome, please, Ball State's new head basketball coach, Ray McCallum. Thank you very much. Uh, what a great turnout. Um, you're looking at the happiest man in the world right now. This is a dream come true. We're so thrilled. I, I, I don't know what to say, but we're just, we're so happy to be here. It's a great opportunity. I think I'm here because the pride and respect that I have for Ball State University, the great experiences that I had here as a player, socially and in the classroom. You're looking at a young man who's here because he wants to be here and will be committed to Ball State University forever. We're going to have a program that you're going to be proud of and respect. We have a program that you want to come out and see. We're going, to keep, we're going to have kids that you're going to be proud of. And I feel we have those kids in the program right now. I'm going to bring a style that's going to be a little bit different than what you're used to. I know you've been very successful the last six or seven years, but it's going to be a style that is going to be fast-paced, exciting, fast-breaking, up-tempo. We're going to have a lot of fun. The kids are going to love this style of play, and you as fans are going to be thrilled about watching. It's going to be a lot of fun here. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, you're going to see me around here a long, long time. I, I think, uh, as Dr. Worthen and Don stated, I think the reason I'm here from their point standpoint is because what I'm all about, what I stand for. Many of you remember my career as a player. 
you've probably lost track of me the last 10 years or so. But I, I think it goes back, and, and this is what I'm going to teach and, and talk to our young team about. Uh, people want to be with good people. People want to be with people who respect them, treat them the way they want to be treated, do things the right way, work hard, believe in themselves. That's what kind of atmosphere I want to create here, a positive one. I'm the kind of coach, the kind of guy that will encourage my players and teach my players through positive, positive reinforcement. I'm not one of those guys who are going to be sky high after a win or you have to scrape me off the floor after a loss. In me, you're going to see a consistent coach and personality. You're going to know what you're dealing with as a person. My assistant coaches, when they come into the office in the morning, they're going to know what to expect. My players, when they come into the practice, they're going to know what's expected from them. We will strive for consistency in treating people fairly. I want to introduce my family now. My mom and dad are here. Aunts, uncles, and cousins are in the audience. <laughs> There's a lot of McCallums around here. Uh, but my wife, Wendy, is from Anderson, the Ball State grad. Ray Michael, my son, who's two. Brittany Ray, my daughter, who's four. We're extremely, extremely happy to be with you, and we're going to have a program that you're going to be extremely proud of. At this time, I would like to uh, open it up for a few questions that uh, you may have. For mentioning your new stuff, how do you plan to transition the team from one push to self? Well, I, I think first of all, I have not had an opportunity to talk with the team. Um, they want to play a style. They want to play, first of all. I think, secondly, they want to play with a, for a guy who's going to treat them fairly and provide opportunity in a fair manner. I'm saying I want to play an up-tempo style, fast-breaking. They're going to be excited about that because it's going to lend opportunity for all of them to be successful. And that's why they're here, to play basketball and to, to go to school. So uh, they're going to have that chance with me. Ray, the emphasis uh, around here uh, about the last six years has been uh, probably first on defense. Uh, does your philosophy encompass uh, the inclusion of, of that philosophy for defense? There's no question about it. I believe that, I mean, you win, you win basketball games because of uh, defense and rebounding. Uh, so that's, uh, I mean, that's a given. Uh, we're going to play tough, aggressive defense. We're going to apply pressure. We're going to extend the floor. We're going to get after people. We're going to get after people. Great. How about the coaching staff? Are they staying intact at this point? Have you talked to them? The coaching staff will stay intact. I had an opportunity to talk with them this morning. I've known them through the profession, Lynn Mitchum in particularly 10, 15 years. Uh, we were in the Indiana Pacers camp way back in, well, 10 years ago. So our relationship goes back a long, long way. Uh, Coach Davis had an opportunity to meet this summer but uh, is very well respected throughout the country, extremely hard worker, and just had an opportunity to meet Chris, has some, heard some super things about Chris. For me at this time, I don't think I could have 
walked to a, walked into a better situation in terms of the staff, their personalities, their background and experience. Why did you decide to get into coaching? I would probably say uh, the last couple years of my uh, playing days, um, having the success I had as a player, um, got me to thinking about if I didn't make it in the NBA, what did I want to do? Um, and I, I love basketball, and I've been committed to it for the last 16 years of my life, being the best that I could be as a player and now as a coach. Well, I, I can go beyond that. I, I think um, when I left University of Wisconsin in July, to join Steve Fisher's staff in Michigan. Steve Fisher wanted a guy who was going to be committed to the program and would be there for four or five years. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know the University of Michigan is a place that you can stay at and be happy for a long, long time. However, I told Steve that if an opening were occur within that time period at Ball State University, that I owe it to myself to be interested and uh, would like his blessing to possibly pursue that job. And when the opening occurred two and a half weeks ago, Steve Fisher called me in. He said, we talked about it back in the summer. Timing is terrible for me. We're going to miss you, but you're the guy for the job. And since then, I've had his total support. Ray, did you have any second thoughts about taking the job with the potential of, of some penalties from the NCAA down the road? Not really. I'm a guy who's always had the odds stacked against him. OK? and uh, have been fortunate enough to overcome them because of the belief in myself, the work ethic, and the support I have from the administration, the fans. Uh, there's no question that we're going to get things back on the right track soon. I'm, I'm much more knowledgeable about the game. As a player, you think you have all the answers, even though it's learned so much being on the coaching side in terms of how you have to deal with people as in preparing a team from a practice planning uh, game strategies and recruit. Uh, I've been at Michigan now for, I've been off the road for since October the 9th, and uh, we spent so much time going over films and uh, recruiting and uh, my wife. <laughs> so, but I'm very fortunate she was with me as a player. And uh, so I, I'm very fortunate there. We'll come back with more from the press conference. Coach, do you have any, uh, any additional? Well, I, I think that with my background and being in, a ten year, in, the, in the Big Ten for 10 years, the exposure has been Oh, it's been awesome. I mean, everywhere you go, in Madison, around the league, in the country, just by being on television, uh, there's a lot of people in here that are familiar faces that... With a, with a short amount of time before the uh, season actually begins, uh, what are some of your top goals or concerns? <laughs> Gym shoes and, and balls and with those kind of things. We've got the Midnight Madness, as you know, tonight. So we want to get that squared away. Uh, sometime uh, today and uh, give them more detail. But I'm excited. I, I think that from all I've heard, we have good kids. And uh, 
good kids will respond to, to me because uh, I'll be fair and we're going to have fun. So. I think I've got, uh, you know, a style that uh, I'm, I'm more uh, up-tempo. I mean, we're going to really push the ball and try to get some easy buckets, and we're going to use, I think we've got some great three-point shooters. We're going to use utilize them. Uh, we've got solid inside players. They're going to be utilized. I just want to set up a system and program that fits our personnel, and uh, it, it may take time to get the pace that we want, but uh, we've got time because we're committed to, to being here a long time and, and getting things right. Uh, I tell you, uh, Chrysler is a nice arena, but this is uh, every bit as nice. Uh, I saw the arena yesterday at about 11 o'clock. It's first time. We need a lot of you there. We got a lot of seats to fill. Well, I think that's, uh, that's it. Thanks a lot for coming out. Appreciate your support. It's going to be fun. We're going to have fun. There, th <clears throat> there are three other men, of course, that uh, Ray identified uh, as it related to the question about the coaching staff. Uh, certainly we feel we have a strong team in place and I would like to introduce those three men now. The uh, most experienced of that group uh, who joined us from Washington State University after six years at the University of Nebraska and a Butler graduate and an outstanding player in his own right, uh, Lynn Mitchum. Lynn, would you please stand? A gentleman who joined us this past year from Wake Forest University, the ACC, and a Hoosier himself, Larry Davis. <laughs> and finally, an indication of the dedication that it takes to be a Division I basketball coach, a young man who came to us in the restricted earnings category uh, to meet NCAA legislation and in doing so gave up a full-time position at a Division II school in Minnesota uh, from Mankato State, Chris Theobald. Chris? In anticipation of uh, a question, uh, Coach McCallum has received a four-year contract from the university. I'd like to thank all of you for coming. One of the responses that uh, questions, I guess, or came to me from the media after the former coach had resigned was, did I see Ball State basketball or the Ball State athletic program uh, falling back now? And I gave the answer then that I will reiterate, and that's an unequivocal no. We have an excellent program. It has competed at the top of an established Division I conference. Uh, we expect it to continue to do so in basketball and in all other sports as well. Interestingly enough, we have currently won the Women's Field Hockey Championship. We are undefeated in vol women's volleyball. Football is tied for first place. I don't think we're in particularly ill health at all. Once again, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for coming. This is a great day for Ray McCallum, and it's a great day for Ball State. Thank you.
Right. Excuse me. Radio. He's gonna do radio, then he's gonna do radio. You guys can have him. Okay.